What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. This is Two Brothers Break. Uh, today is Sunday. We're going up to the same car show as last time. Definitely enjoyed making you guys that video because we received a bunch of great attention and um, some comments and feedback about that. So uh, definitely wanted to record again for you guys, film it, and you know do a sort of a vlog on it and uh, show you guys what our pickups are going to be. Um, we got baseball coming up uh, less than a week from opening day, which is crazy. I'm a big baseball fan myself. Uh, Tigers fan actually but I have some players in mind uh, for investments for the season that I want to get uh, possibly some slabs we'll see what ends up happening but definitely have some eyes on uh, some guys and also um, I'm not going to pick up any basketball but football I also since free agency happened I got my eyes on a couple more guys so that should be good and other than that we are expecting for a great day again uh, there's going to be a lot more dealers than last time. I think there's 12 tables now, which is huge. So this show is probably going to be a lot better than last time. And last time uh, was the first ever. So that was, I thought it was good for the first ever. And I'm expecting this one to be even better. So this should be great. Can't wait to get, get you guys all that footage and show you guys uh, what, what the dealers got. And also what we're going to pick up ourselves. We're definitely planning on making some plays. I hope, uh, you know, it's a bit, it's a good day for me at the card show. And uh, let me know down in the comments uh, if I uh, made out. And we're going to show you guys all of that uh, film. And, um, yeah, can't wait to see you guys in there. And we'll be in there in probably an hour. So uh, we'll see you guys when we get there. First stop this morning is going to be the Chase Bank. We're going to take some cash out for this show. And we're going to make some moves. Let's go. All right, let's go spend this cash. Let's go. So hyped for the show today, guys. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we're going to be on our way in the next minute here. So we'll see you guys when we get there. This was just me starting the show off with a little bang here. I'll uh, show you guys this in the end of the video, too. So this is our guy from the break room. You can follow him on Instagram. I uh, put the card in on the video. He's a great guy. Uh, does some breaks. And uh, this was his case at the show. He's a great guy again. I picked up some stuff from him last time. Great to see him again. And uh, yeah, th this was uh, one of our stops. Here's just some live footage that I hope you guys enjoy of the big man making his first move of the day. Picking up some baseball. We'll show you guys that later. Big man's on the board. Show the card. I was mainly interested in this guy's Marvel cards. He had crunch time inserts, pretty much all of the Don Ross inserts, which were really, really sick uh, because I made the mistake of not knowing they were only in hobby boxes. Thank you, sir. Just wanted to leave a little note here uh, about that optic downtown of Patrick Mahomes. He express shipped that, pulled it out of a break. It was a crazy, crazy story. He woke up the next day and found out he got the Chiefs. Didn't even realize it, and he got that out of it. That's insane. So this was the clip where he actually did the Vlad deal with me. Uh, I put the Vlad in there before this because just wanted to make it known. Uh, but he did do that deal. I asked him if he'd go down to 60, and he did for me. So that was really, really good. As you can see, the Acuna is right next to him that my brother picked up a little bit later in the show. So, yeah. What's going on, guys? Back in the card layer here. And as you guys can see, these are our pickups from the show. 
it was a wild, wild day, I must say. But I think we did, we really executed our game plan, I think, when we were there. You guys can let me know after you guys uh, see this. And, yeah, I think I think we had a great game plan going in. And I really think we, we played it to perfection. But here's a card that I had no I, I I didn't even think about going after golf at all. And then I saw this at a table, like, really, really late. It glanced my eye, and I was like, oh, I like that card. Because uh, I immediately knew it was the Tiger Woods uh, rookie card, upper deck. And I asked him his price on it. He was really fair. He offered 40 off the bat. I'm like, $40? That's a pretty, pretty bargain right there. Uh, and immediately said, you know, I'll do 40, 40 bucks for it. Especially, you know, hopefully Tiger is recovering from that accident. He had that tragic accident. Hopefully he is um, doing a lot better from that. It was a pretty big scare all over social media that day. And uh, hopefully, I don't think Tiger's going to ever play golf again. But um, I, I really hope he, you know, recovers well and has a shot too if he wants to. But moving on here, we also pick, I this is my pickup. I picked up uh, Daniel Jones, rated rookie, optic base, and a PSA 9 Daniel Jones pink optic uh, rookie card. This was actually, I, there wasn't even a, you know, price on each of them. It was just sold as a lot, a three card lot, Daniel Jones, prism rookie card, PSA 9. I got them all for for a hundred bucks, thought it was a great deal. I mean, these. I think Daniel Jones is just gonna skyrocket uh, when the season starts. Um, that Giants team had a great, great off season. He got Kenny Galladay as a weapon now. I really think that um, that Giants team is gonna make the playoffs, and Daniel Jones is gonna have a fantastic year. His cards are gonna see dramatic, dramatic increases. Moving on here, we're going to baseball. This is what I said in, in the beginning. I was aiming for baseball. There actually wasn't that much baseball at the show, which I was surprised about. I was able to manage to, you know, get some plays for baseball, but not as much as I was expecting because, as I said before, it was it's less than a week from opening day, and I really, really wanted to get some more baseball in uh, my investments because it's right around the corner. You can literally smell it. I'm a huge baseball fan, but enough with that. Uh, we got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. PSA 10 Gem Mint Tops Heritage card 2019. This card right here, Vlad dropped 20 to 25 pounds in the offseason. He had a tremendous spring training. I really think this guy is going to go off this year. It's Vladdy's year. Also, I think the Blue Jays are going to make the playoffs. I really expect this card to be near 100 if not more than $100 uh, by mid-season, maybe the All-Star break. So that was a great pickup for me. I, I was going in with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. as one of my top guys for investments. Now, this was one of my brother's plays at the show. He loves Ronald Cooney Jr. I do as well. Um, this was actually from the same uh, dealer. So he also got the Ronald Acuna and I got the Vladdy, uh, both PSA 10s. And this card he got for 115 which I thought was uh, great value. That's like $15 under sticker price right now. And I think Ronald Acuna Jr. Has, is the easily the front runner for NL MVP. Uh, so I thought that was a great investment. If he wins NL MVP, that card will go right up. So... Great, great investment. And here is my next pickups. Now, this is a Mike Trout 2012 card, his second card ever. This card I'm saving on to for a long, long time, especially if that Angel team make, makes the playoffs this year. His cards are going to skyrocket first time. Uh, well, actually, it'll be, it'll be his second time ever making the playoffs. He made it as a wild card, but he had one game. So Mike Trout, this card was like $20, I want to say. Matt Stafford, this was a PC rookie card for me. Uh, Shohei Otani, and he threw in this love. Uh, all that for 30 bucks. I thought it was a you know fair deal. Definitely didn't win him out on it, but um, I thought it was a fair deal for me. I picked up a PC card in there, so that was fine. Uh, and then, you know, obviously the Trout that I'm really, really high on. So then we go into a couple more PC cards. You got DeAndre Swift, rookie NFL debut. 
Uh, Barry Sanders, red, white, and blue. Loved this card. This card is looking it is sick. Uh, Matt Stafford, flea flicker card uh, with Calvin Johnson and Barry Sanders on it. Love Megatron. Love Matthew Stafford. Uh, you know, uh, Barry was way before my day, so. But Matthew Stafford and Calvin Johnson are my guys. Definitely had to pick that. I think I picked that up for 15 bucks. I want to say. So then we're going to move into some of my brother's pickups. Here he is with uh, two Denzel Mims rookie cards. He picked these up for six bucks in total, three on three. And he is a big Jets fan, as I said. Also a uh, investor in Denzel Mims. He has, I don't even know how many rookie cards of Denzel Mims he's got at this point, but it's a lot. So then moving into baseball for him, he picked up some Gavin Lux rookie card Bowman Papers. I think he picked those up for six bucks as well, or four bucks, or maybe five actually. Um, somewhere in between there, which, uh, we are actually both in on Gavin Lux. I think his cards are going to go right up when he gets called up from, uh, with the Dodgers. He's, I think he's for sure going to be playing for the Dodgers this year. There's no doubt about it. But then moving into our next pickups, RJ Barrett, he picked up, um, this was my brother as well. He's a huge Knicks fan. So he, he got some RJ Barrett's, uh, rookie cards. Uh, two bases and then a tribute. So I think he got those for 15 bucks in total. Uh, and then moving into his last play of the day, uh, ending on some baseball, he got a uh, Luis Robert lot. He took the rookie card of Heritage. He took rookie card 85 anniversary tops and then Bowman paper rookie and then a tops paper uh, gold cup for Luis Robert. Uh, they all say $2 on them, but he got the, these four cards for 6 bucks. Can't go wrong there with Luis Robert. I think he's going to have a great year, uh, as always. And um, I think he's definitely going to, you know, uh, not bounce back, but he's going to improve a lot more than, la than last year, even though he was phenomenal. I uh, can't speak. I'm speaking really fast, so I'm out of breath. But, um... Other than that, those are our pickups. Let us know down in the comments what you guys thought. We really, really love when you guys comment. Uh, it means a lot to us uh, when you guys reach out to us, and we love uh, reading them and responding to them always. Uh, again, we appreciate all the support we get, and uh, if you want to leave a like on the video, that will be greatly appreciated. Thumbs up, as well as uh, stay tuned for more videos, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. We'll see you guys next time.